This is gonna be fun. Let's get back to testing some products here. Now I've tried all of these and they are all pretty fantastic. Who is the longer lasting, easier, more shiny? I don't know. All right, but we're gonna put them on my car and now that it's all clean and uh, ready, prepped, put these on there. There's no current sealant, no coating on the hood. I've got it all broken up into six pieces. We're gonna put these on six different nice size pieces and I'm gonna drive around for a while with them and we'll we'll see what happens on that hood. But this is the beginning of this type of test. These are all sprays as far as I know. And let's get going with this. Hope you guys like this video. These products, they speak for themselves. Any of them are gonna work. You can pick anyone right now and, and you'll be happy with it, all right? Anyone, I'll tell you that from the gate. We're just gonna have some fun and see how they work. All right, you guys, the first one, now let me tell you something about all of these products. They may have different applications. I'm gonna try to go by what they say to do. Uh, if that's different than the other one, then that's the way it is because that's just what it says to do. So we're gonna follow what they say. And this first one is uh, basically can be applied to all of the exterior surfaces, pretty much glass, paint, wheels, stuff like that. And they want you to spray a couple sprays into the towel, the microfiber towel, and rub it into the panel. As you can see, I have them all marked off there, sectioned off. Uh, you can rub it into the panel until it's streak free. That's all it says. Uh, very simple and easy to do. I'm gonna look over the directions one more time just for you guys. It's $30 for a 200 mil bottle. So I'm just kind of giving you guys some information here. Let me get going. Okay guys, I got the car all sectioned off. We've got six large sections. All right, so let's start off with section number one and we'll do it right up here by the driver's side door. Now this says to, let me shake it up. And it says two to three sprays. One, two, three. There's three sprays and it says to wipe it in. Oh yeah, that's plenty of spray for this little panel. All right, and I can see it. Let me bring you guys in so you can see this. I can see it leaves like this oily film. And I know you guys can't see that. I don't know how to get that for you. Oh, there, there it is, kind of, it's there. So it leaves this oily film and it says just to wipe until that film is no more. So I'm just wiping it and I'll tell you what, little by little, even though it's the same side that I sprayed it on, it is going away and it is wiping into the paint. <laughs> hey, it's very cool. It's been a while since I've used it. And always I coat the cars so quick that I don't get to use these products as much as I should. I'm gonna start using them. All right, we are done there. Mind you, all of these products are years and years old. The newest one is probably that Immortal or that uh, Veros Ceramic Boost. Okay, let's, next up is C2V3. The caveat here is this says, well, it says to wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves. It wants you to use their T-Technic special towels. I do not have their special towels. We're going to be using the same type of towels. And it says that this product is good up for 12 months. This is going probably on 60 plus months right here. So if if it doesn't work, hey, you know, oh, well, blame Benjamin, blame Benjamin. But we're going to shake it up. This is supposed to be easy to use. And I bet you it's going to work just fine. It's on spray. So this is the towel I just used. And I'm going to flip this towel over and we're gonna use this side to apply it. All right, so it says to go ahead and spray it on. Get my towel here. All right, so I'll spray it on the towel. Doesn't really say how many. So I gave it about three good sprays the same. We're gonna wipe it in. Now this is not as greasy as the SI spray up there from Nanolex. This just went right in 
for the paint. But you can see as I go over it, it leaves a little bit of residue behind. All right, so I've got that. Now I'm going to flip the towel over and I'm going to buff it off. That one was different, the Nanolex, because it was thicker, greasier, more viscous, and you had to really keep rubbing to get it off. This was super simple. You fill it bonding, and we are done with that one. All right, so pretty cool. Same method, applied with towel, flipped over and rubbed. That one was one side of the towel application and removal. Same side. That's Nanolex up there. Let's put... Uh, C2 V3 next to it over here so we don't mess that up. By the way, the price difference on this one, this one for 200 mils was $29. This one for 250 mils was like $16. So about half price and a little bit more. This is a 500 mil bottle. I'm just telling you about equal size pricing. Okay guys, let's get the Angel Wax TI-22 out. And uh, let's get this towel ready. So we've used both these sides. We're flipping this over to this side here. Actually, I take it back. We're gonna use this towel now because we've used all four sides of the short pile. Let's go into all four sides of this short pile here. So we've got this. This one is uh, for 250 mils. I think this goes for $36. So, so far the most expensive out of the three. And uh, what I didn't tell you was the C2 V3 can be used as a drying aid, can be used as a base or standalone, but a base for your wax. This has titanium in it, which makes a fantastic base. So interesting, uh, standalone or a base. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this up good I'm gonna spray this. This has a little sprayer there. And what we do is we get this and we wipe this in. So let's wipe it in this top one here. And this also has a greasy like feel at the beginning here um, as you wipe it in, but it kind of goes away. All right, so it goes away there. And then we're going to get this towel and we're going to flip it over, buff it off there. And very simple usage. I told you that one was super greasy, not greasy. This one is kind of in the middle of these two. All right. So a little bit of greasy, but wiped off very cleanly. All right. And uh, that is the Angel Wax TI-22 in the middle top. All right, next is the polymer net shield. It is uh, $29 for 340 mils. This is a 210 mil. So I guess they make this in a bigger one now. I don't know, like I say, these are all old. So we're gonna shake this up. This one says to spray it onto a microfiber or directly on the surface. Spread it out and then finish it off. So uh, let's spray it onto the microfiber here. All right, that's plenty. <laughs> we'll put this on the bottom here. And this rubs in a little greasy. This reminds me of, it doesn't feel like the SI spray, but it looks like it. And it feels more like the Angel Wax TI-22, but a little more greasy. It, it leaves something on here. It leaves a lot on here though, where the other ones, Kind of faded away so if i keep rubbing let's see if it goes away no all right so let me get a towel here let me flip this towel all right i've got this towel flipped over and let's wipe this off this is supposed to oh it's this one is the hardest to wipe off so far Definitely the most sticky or tacky of the products so far. 
Now I am wiping it with this side of the towel where the other ones I used that short microfiber. So it could be a little tacky, but I'm telling you that this one's the tackiest. And I remember it being tacky before. So we're done there. Not bad. And uh, let's put that one, put the lid on there. We'll put that in the middle top so I can take a picture at the end. And let's move on. Okay, guys, we have a substitution. Uh, I was thinking to use this, and I kind of remember using this. This was really good, I think. But it is more of a topper, the way you read it. I think I think you, I used it on itself by a standalone. It was pretty good. But nonetheless, because it's a topper, I do have this other one that is their sprayable ceramic coating. So let me get a... Uh, sprayer for this if i can find one and uh let's use that instead i think that should be more powerful than the other one all right guys so you'll have to apologize i i made the substitution on my own i can do that it's my video and uh this is the veros one year sprayable ceramic coating now mind you i've had this for quite a few years now and i remember using it and it is a good product all right so what they want you to do is apply this like a coating either to the panel or to a applicator rub it in wipe wipe it off with a clean towel and uh let it cure for a day or so so let's sp see if we can spray this let me get this sprayer working here yeah sprayers all right this is a brand new sprayer let me spray some on here we got it on and we're going up top here so let's see there and let's rub it in oh yeah it, it applies just like a coating now this is a uh, $60 for an eight ounce bottle. So if you apply this, I mean, you know, they want you to do the iron remover and everything, which we've, we've done in about a week or two ago, you know, maybe a month ago, somewhere in the last few videos, we've done all that to this. We've polished it and we've panel prepped it. So they want you to use their products to do that. We re we're using whatever products I have and uh, it's clean now, but as you can see this, applies like a coating it is a little has that greasiness and uh you know smells smells like a like a solvent all right so we're gonna let that sit for 60 seconds to a minute and i'll be back it is probably about 72 degrees 75 degrees a day all right guys i'm kind of looking at this it's been about a minute and i'm looking at it i'm looking at it either to bubble or rainbow I don't see too much of anything going on. It looks maybe like it could be, oh, maybe a little bubbly. You know, different coatings do different things. This could be a little bubbly, but uh, I think it's about time to wipe it off. Now we're working at about a minute and a half. So I'm gonna take my towel clean side here and I'm just gonna wipe it off to get that excess off. Let me flip over and wipe some more. Very simple for a sprayable one year coating. Uh, I've used this before and it's a great product. And I want to say that other one, they gave me another one, or I, I purchased with them, but I got another one from them. And uh, when I used it, it was also good. I want to say it was that one, but I, I don't quite remember. I have to go look in the closet there. This was definitely one of the ones though that I was interested in trying in. And we're done. Very simple, easy to do. Uh, no problem. All right, guys. Last but not least, you know, Phoenix EOD Immortal. This is the new one that they came out with. Uh, you know, it's a couple years out now. And um, probably more than a couple years. But anyway, as you can see, it's all clogged up up here. So I'm going to have to take that sprayer off and use another sprayer. Luckily, I have lots of extra sprayers for these types of tests. And, um, you know, we'll run it that way. So this is a one-year coating. It's going to be great to put underneath the Vero's one-year coating. It is about $60. I think it said $64. Don't quote me on that. But right about $60 for an 8-ounce bottle. Uh, just about the same as the Vero's. So they're really good head-to-head -head there. Spray it on a microfiber towel and uh at that point flip, flip wait one to two minutes 
flip it over and wipe it off just like a coating or you could actually spray it onto the surface let me get this lids changed up here and give me a second okay and something to tell you about these is they they went to a, i think like a metal bottle because these ones were cracking from the inside out this one is not cracked but you can see it does it will leak from the tip after it's used and uh let's get this open here let's spray let's shake it up spray some sprays here should be plenty and we're going to wipe it in this big area. Wipe it on. Yes, very uh, ceramic-y. You know, not that greasy, though. Actually, dried pretty easy. Makes me wonder if I should apply some more. But I don't want to be giving this one extra favorage. So it is what it is. You know what? It just, I feel like I'm going to apply this like this. I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to wipe it in. Yeah. And then it's going to have to sit on there for. All right, cool. I feel better about that and I feel that that's more fair. All right. It was just coming off in this towel. It was probably the wrong type of towel to use. So. We're gonna apply it on there. You can see it's on there. You wanna let you sit it for one to two minutes and then wipe it off. We'll be back. All right, guys, it's been about a minute and a half there and I'm looking at it and I see it starting to rainbow. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're gonna put this towel on, clean side, wipe off, flip over and wipe off. Comes off very easy. No problem. Very nice product. Let me clean out this sprayer and put the old one back on to there and then uh, set it up and we'll be right back. And guys, here's a little tip. Anytime I take these sprayers out and I put them back in, I squirt the rest of the stuff back into the bottles. Then I take some water in this cup and I put some some spray in there and I run the sprayers through there I'm trying to do it with one hand but I'll run the sprayers through there and then I'll flush them out so that's how I kind of maintain the sprayers I know the other sprayer was clogged up but that was the only one I have and it uh, it is what it is all right guys so that's going to conclude the application process we started out over with the SI spray from nanolex we got the c2 v3 from uh g technic the liquid crystal at the top we got ti22 from angel wax down here we got uh, sonex polymer net shield we got viros this is their one year ceramic coating and down here we got the uh immortal from phoenix eod my dog's going crazy and my phone's dying guys so I'll let these cure up and then we'll play with some water on them and, and we'll check them out. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later. And all the applicators and towels, I'm going to get them and I'm going to dunk them to this bath of soap and APC and I'll let them sit there for a couple days until I get up and wash everything. That's how I keep those clean. If not, just throw them away. They'll get hard on you. Most coating products, most ceramic products.